Welcome brethren, this is Divine Revelations Nigeria YouTube channel, a channel dedicated to the ministration of our Lord Jesus Christ, whose sole purpose is to create the world's largest archive of Jesus' testimonies with the vision to save souls, build community, and set people free, through the testimony of Jesus. But before we begin today's testimony, I want to ask you to subscribe to this channel, like, share and activate the notification bell to receive updates on new videos. By doing so, you will help our ministry reach more people. It is also important to share this video on WhatsApp and Facebook, as it can save lives, as many people may need help, and you will be used tremendously by God in their lives. God bless you as you listen. Amen. So let's get started. The Transference of Demons Through Cartoons and Movies by Abner Ramos The Lord showed me demons from beneath the earth and beneath the water. These demons from the inferior region of the earth are now displayed on the screens and they are characters that we watch in movies, in animated cartoons and video games. The Bible says in Exodus 20 verses 4 to 5 You shall not make to you any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. 5 You shall not bow down yourself to them, nor serve them, for I the Lord your God am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children to the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. This is the word of the Lord given to the children of Israel, which we will preach at this time without removing or adding because the word of the Lord is complete. The Lord has revealed himself to me so that his people can be prepared to attend the wedding of the Lamb. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, I put myself in your hands to give this word. Glory to God who visits the wickedness of parents and their children until the third and fourth generation of those who hate him. Welcome brother and sister. One day I was attending an evangelical gathering with a brother that was preaching. He said to the congregation, I have come to Central America and Mexico because I want to claim all this land that the devil has conquered, and I want to claim the land of Central America. For the devil has invaded and conquered our land through TV and media. The enemy has invaded our nations with his television programs. He came up with his soap operas. He has invaded our nations and has filled them with corruption. He has invaded the country conquering the children thanks to demonic cartoons and animation for our children and our young people are contaminated with his demonic program and technology. Our young people are not clean and innocent any longer. The children and the young are not innocent as they were before because of television stations, because of satanic productions and games, and the devil has transmitted stain and impurity to the world through TV. The word is prophetic when it says that he visited evil because the commandment of the Lord forbidding the construction and the making of idols. The order of the Lord forbidding the representation of the image of things from the sky, from the under the earth and under the sea is not just for the children of Israel, but also for the future generations. The Lord has prophesied in Exodus 20 verses 4 to 5, for the Lord knew that through the making of images of things from under the sea, things under the earth and from sky corruption would come. The Lord knew that through the images of idols and false gods in animation, video games and movies, his children will be contaminated and stained. They will be removed from his presence thanks to the representation of the unseen world and demons represented in characters in your video games and movies. The presence of God is being removed from God's children when they are attached to image idols and representation of things from the unseen world. And because of what is projected on the scene in cinemas, God's children are losing the presence of God. The Lord said, You shall not make for yourself an idol of any kind, or an image of anything in the heavens above, an image of anything of the earth below, or the waters under the earth. Brother and sister, the Lord is against men representing things from above, things from under the earth and from under the sea. The Lord knew that through television, evil was going to be projected on the screen for the world to venerate and to worship. My brother, this Bible verse transcends generations. When the Lord had given this commandment about the construction and building of images thousands of years ago, television did not exist. YouTube was not present and there were no television screens. We all thought that the Lord was talking about the idolatry in terms of the making and sculpturing of statues and images of wood or representation in terms of carving stone. Brother, meditate this Bible verse because God's children are now contaminated and infested at the end of time by representations of things from the sky, things from the underworld, and things from the submarine kingdom. On Thursday before leaving for the campaign in Mexico City, we were in the presence of God praying. Whenever we seek Him the Lord will speak. The Lord sends His words because the people need to come out of the system of this world. The Lord then gave me a vision the day before Thursday service in the afternoon when we were here praying. As this vision passed before my eyes, I began to see cartoons in the vision. Initially, I saw the Roadrunner, 
Then I saw the devil of Tasmania, I saw many cartoons that are shown to children on television. In this vision, these cartoon characters were alive. They were not just animated characters, they were living beings. I saw that they became alive and they were turned to real demons. Brother, we always think that these animated cartoons are made through drawings. We think that artists just imagine and draw these cartoons, which are then animated. Yet in this vision, I saw that these animated characters were alive. They are not just the imagination of men. They were no longer cartoons, they were transfigured into demons. Thus behind every animated character that children are watching there is demonic influence. I could see that those cartoons were not simple cartoons, they were demons. After seeing the cartoons that became demons, I saw a scene from a movie. I don't remember the movie title. I don't know what's the name of the Hollywood actor who was acting. He is a popular actor on television and the internet. In this vision, there was a movie scene of male and female actors. But something terrible happened when I was observing this actor's face. I saw this actor's face begin to melt and his skin was receding. I saw another face becoming visible. It was a demonic face that was revealed and it replaced his human face. I saw that inside him a terrible image began to emerge. And it was a scary face. It was a demon. I could see that demons were living inside the actors and actresses. I witnessed in this vision the transfiguration of this Hollywood actor into a demon. Obviously, when people watch the movies, they just watch the images and enjoy the scenes. But I was seeing what was inside them. I watched pieces of skin falling off the face of this Hollywood actor, and the face of a dark demon began to emerge. It was a demon for within these actors that work in Hollywood, there are demons possessing them. I said, my God, first you showed me cartoon characters, and now you are showing me demons dwelling in Hollywood actors. I started asking the Lord about this vision. I heard the voice of God instructing me to read Exodus 20 verses 4 to 5 You shall not make to you any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. 5 You shall not bow down yourself to them, nor serve them, for I the Lord your God am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children to the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. And I said, Lord, but what does that text have to do with cartoons and modern-day movies? What is the relation between this Bible verse and these movies and cartoon images? I heard the voice of the Holy Spirit, the devil is accusing God's children in this end time who are watching and exposing themselves to images of animated cartoon movies and video games. The devil knows how to accuse my people in the presence of God. The Holy Spirit told me, God's children have broken the law. They are idolizing movie characters. Children are idolizing animated characters and video games characters. The devil is accusing God's people of worshipping idols, which are their favorite movie characters, animated cartoon characters and video games characters. These characters have become idols. There is a hype about these superheroes who are venerated by the masses. Yet I said in my word, you will not make any image of any similarity of what is in heaven, nor what is down under the earth and what is down under the sea. But my people are failing to understand that movies and animated cartoons even superheroes that they see on the screen have been created from things below the land in the underworld. Most people don't know this. Most people don't know that what they see in cartoons, videos, and movies have been created from things existing below the earth. These cartoons and movie characters have not started on screen. These characters exist and operate in the underworld, in the kingdom of hell. Cartoon and movie characters are demons that exist below the earth. The unclean spirits from below the earth are dwelling in the bodies of people that are doing the production of these images. They possessed and indwelled men and women who work in Hollywood. The Spirit of the Lord revealed that these unclean spirits have emerged out of the deepest parts of the earth and they are here on earth to produce those images and to make people sin. Many young people ask me whether it's bad to go to the cinema today. I can tell you without any doubt that going to the cinema is bad for God's children. I saw the transfiguration of this actor. I saw that the actors were manipulated by demons living inside them. They are not successful because of their talent, but because they are indwelled and possessed by demons. Movies and cartoons give life to those characters who are unclean spirits. These demons are the ones who give the stories, content and inspiration to the directors. They give the content of animated cartoons, movies and video games. Brother, animated characters and superheroes are demons. They are unclean spirits from under the earth and from under the sea. There are many terrible demons in the nether world and the water world. 
but now they are on the surface of the earth thanks to cartoons, games, and movies. And God's people watch them and they are even venerating these unclean spirits. There are Christians who are superheroes fans worshipping spirits from under the earth. Many young people after attending church service go to the movies and many people buy or rent or download movies to watch. Many young people and children imitate in real life what they see on television and their destination is the lake of fire. Make no mistake, you won't rise in the rapture when you are attached to TV images that are representations of idols built from things under the earth and under the sea. Dear brothers these characters in movies, cartoons and games are unclean spirits from the marine world and the underworld. They are demons that are worshipped by humanity in the end time under the banner of comic book heroes and movie characters. Many children are exposed to demons through animated characters. When the trumpet sound goes, the Spirit of God will no longer be found in those days. The people will realize that they were left behind and rejected from being taken up in the rapture because they were defiled from watching cartoons and movies for hours instead of reading God's word and praying. Even children will be left behind for parents allowed them to watch TV without attending to them. They should not have left them in front of the television for hours. And there are also those young people and those children who spend hours in video games. They spent hours playing those combat games and those massacre games. Those 3D images and games have been invented by the same demons and they are already on earth polluting God's people, for millions of God's people participate and play these demonic games and do the works of demons. The contents of these games are not created by human beings. These characters and games are real demons that dwell inside of the actors and they are portrayed in cartoons and movies. They are not things from the earth. They are things of the underworld. These things come from the nether realm under the earth. Demons from below the earth have been put in image format so that God's people lose the presence of God and get in chain and bondage. As a result, when God's children come to church, they do not have freedom. When children are watching cartoons and when they come to church, they will have no peace, they will be uncomfortable and they will be crying because they don't feel the pleasure and comfort in God's presence. They do not feel at ease. They have no peace in the presence of God because the demons have intoxicated them through images. These images transmit depression, anxiety, and alter the viewer's personality. The images that are in video games are scary content and they stay in the spirit of young people. The Lord says that the children are losing their souls for these characters are demons. When I heard this, I started to cry. I said, Lord, it is terrible. What I am seeing is terrible. God has revealed that his people are contaminated by demons through what they see in the images. I said, Lord, we have sinned, the people of God has sinned. The word of God will judge us. One day, we will be in the court of Christ. We will be shown that we have read this message that what we watched on television, in our tablets, in our cell phones were demons. If we don't confess our sins and don't turn away from them in repentance, we will be judged for our willfulness and stubbornness. Those who have the habit and they think that the cinema is still not bad, I want to tell you to escape for your life. I want to tell you to regret your sins. Stop doing it. I want to tell you to stop watching movies. Stop seeing everything that is polluting you. I want to tell you to leave the fun. Get away from the fun. It's an abomination in front of the presence of God. Animated cartoons are polluting our spirits and are dragging us away from Almighty God. 